a short time, the new 1955 Hudsons will be on display in dealer showrooms all over the country. People will be flocking to see them. People curious to know what American Motors has done to extend and strengthen the Hudson tradition of building cars of notable distinction, beauty, and performance. They will see Hudson cars that are delightfully new and different. Cars with a freshness of styling and beauty that is certain to arouse admiration and create the desire to own one. For example, they will thrill to the sight of this new Hornet Hollywood hardtop, styled to stand out in any company and powered for the most exciting performance in its field. They will see the new Hornet four-door sedan, a perfect family car with its own special eye appeal and performance capabilities far beyond expectations. And for those with budget limitations, there is the Wasp hardtop, almost identical in appearance with the Hornet, and the Wasp four-door sedan, destined to be a style leader in its field and the top car in its price class for economy of operation. But people have got to be told about the great new features that are packed into these new Hudsons. Someone must tell them and show them how truly wonderful these new cars are in terms of all the things that everyone wants for his personal transportation. This film will highlight the features of your new Hornets and Wasps. It will describe these features in words that Hudson salesmen can use to present these great new Hudsons to the public. Let's examine this Hornet four-door sedan and put into words the feeling of distinction and beauty that it conveys at first glance. From the front, this car presents a brilliant example of integrating the bumper and grille into a single harmonious design. The massive wraparound bumper fulfills every requirement of protection, yet it blends perfectly into the overall front end styling. The distinctive honeycomb grille, inspired by the Hudson Italia, gives a bold textured effect, and the traditional Hudson Crest rides proudly in the upper center of the grille. Visored headlights add a forward-reaching note, and the separate grouping of parking lights and directional signals provides a pleasing accent to the head-on appearance. Looking over the low, gracefully contoured hood, the eye is caught by a full-width cowl ventilator, placed high above the road where air is fresh, not fume-laden, as it is so often when air intakes are placed close to the road level. And in keeping with Hudson's advanced styling, we see a new wraparound windshield, encircled by a chrome molding that accentuates its large size and fine proportions. No car on the road can match this new Hudson in visibility ahead, and there is absolutely no distortion at the outer ends, where the curve of the glass is most pronounced. Moreover, structural modifications in the body bracing and sill construction protect the windshield against any damage due to torsional strain. Now, let's view this car from a position where its sheer beauty can best be appreciated. Here are lines and proportions that add up to a magnificent first impression. Notice how the gracefully descending lines of the top complement the contours of the body. How the raised road guide fenders merge into the gently crowned line that sweeps back to the rear. The simplicity of side ornamentation is deliberate. There are no garish plasters of chrome to interrupt the long sweeping lines that give this Hudson its lithe, forward-reaching appearance. From a rear quartering view, the integration of functional parts into a single harmonious design is apparent at first glance. The continental tire mounting, standard on custom models, makes the spare more accessible and adds to the long look and high styling of the car. The big bumper, with its strong vertical guards, gives protection to the tire cover and wraps around the quarter panel to ward off glancing impacts. Large oval tail lights, framed in chrome, also combine the functions of the stoplights and directional signals, and a sturdy stone shield completely closes the space between the bumper and the body. The spare tire tilts backwards to permit easy access to the luggage compartment, but the tire mounting is snug and rattle-free when in the normal vertical position. Luggage space is much bigger than in other cars, and the load does not have to share the space with a tire. The lid hinges are placed where they do not interfere with the luggage, and they are spring counterbalanced 
to raise or lower the lid with a touch, yet hold it safely in the open position. Good rear vision is as important to the driver as forward vision. So the new Hudsons feature a wraparound rear window that is almost as large as the windshield. Now, let's open the doors and see what Hudson provides for the comfort, convenience, and luxury of passengers. Not that beauty isn't of equal importance. Indeed, the color combinations and fine tailoring of fabrics and plastics create an interior beauty equal in every way to cars of much higher price. This Hornet custom four-door sedan is upholstered in blue Bedford cord with T-type bolsters of vinyl. The same attractive fabric and plastic combination also is offered in brown and green. At small extra cost, a combination of brown nylon Bedford cord with white diamond accents and bolsters of off-white genuine leather is offered. This combination is also available in blue or green fabric and in black needlepoint and red leather. Interior hardware is of a distinctive modern design, trimmed in ivory to match the steering wheel and arm rests. In complete harmony with the interior styling is this spanking new instrument panel that follows the sweeping lines of the wraparound windshield. The instrument cluster is mounted in a raised position, directly in front of the steering column for best visibility. The radio is centered in the panel, and under it, a new type pull-out glove drawer. No need for the driver to stretch far to the right to open it. Across the top of the instrument panel is a non-glare crash pad in colors that harmonize with the interior trim. Duo acoustic radio speakers mounted at each end of the cowl give high fidelity quality to radio reception and permit both driver and passengers to enjoy the radio regardless of car speed. Roominess and luxurious comfort keynote the spacious rear passenger compartment, which provides a seat width that exceeds that of any other car in the Hornet price class. A 16-inch wide folding center armrest provides armchair relaxation for rear seat passengers. Hudson's body construction is basically different from any other car because the body and frame members are welded together into a single inseparable steel structure. This unitized type of construction resists all torsional strains and prevents the development of squeaks and rattles. The massive box girders that form the foundation of the body are the strongest structural shape known, and they are positioned at the lower outside edges of the body where they can give greatest protection to passengers. These girders absorb most of the initial force of a side impact, making Hudson's body the safest built today. The double-strength, single-unit body is another notable American Motors exclusive. Its super strength and greater safety have been proved over millions of miles of driving. Now, let's see what the Hudson Hornet offers in the way of power and performance for 1955. It's the most exciting news in many years of Hudson history, because this year, you have a brand spanking new Hornet V8 engine that packs 208 horsepower. It's a big engine, and it embodies the very latest developments in V8 design. It has a bore of 3 and 13 16 inches, and a stroke of 3 and a half inches. The piston displacement is 320 cubic inches, and the compression ratio 7.8 to 1. Since the length of the stroke is less than the diameter of the bore, this engine is known as a short stroke, low friction design, which means that piston speed in terms of feet traveled per minute is reduced so that the engine sacrifices less of its power to overcome internal friction. Running at a speed of 4,000 RPM, the piston in this Hudson V8 engine travels 2,333 feet every 60 seconds. Compare this with an engine having the same piston displacement, but with a stroke of four inches. In such an engine, running at 4,000 RPM, the piston must travel 2,666 feet per minute, which means an increase in internal friction and a consequent loss in power output. The Hudson V8 parabolic combustion chamber is designed for unusually high turbulence. This means more efficient burning of the fuel-air mixture and substantial gains in power and economy. 
The large bore permits the use of larger valves and valve ports. This improves engine breathing, which produces increased torque in the higher speed range. The shape of the cams also contribute to better engine breathing. Valves are kept at widest opening for the longest time. And hydraulic tappets maintain proper clearance in the valve operating mechanism and assure quiet operation. A cast alloy steel crankshaft with six counterweights is precisely balanced with the flywheel, pistons, and connecting rods. This means smooth, vibrationless engine operation at all speeds. Because of the relatively short stroke of the engine, the crankshaft journals overlap by five-eighths of an inch, giving the shaft a very high degree of rigidity to resist torsional strains. This new V8 208 horsepower engine gives the Hornet almost incredible performance in acceleration and highway cruising and passing speeds. A new twin ultramatic transmission is standard equipment on the Hornet V8, and it is tailor-made for use with this engine. This new improved twin ultramatic has a two-speed fully automatic planetary gear train, coupled with a two-stage torque converter and a direct drive clutch. This design greatly improves acceleration from a standing start and fuel wasting slippage at cruising speeds is eliminated by means of the special direct drive clutch, which automatically locks out the torque converter after a predetermined speed has been reached. Buyers may also choose the Hornet Championship 6, a big 308 cubic inch power plant time tested by hundreds of thousands of Hudson owners and the most brilliant performer ever to appear in stock car racing competition. This is the engine that carried Hudson to three national championships, 1952, 53, and 54, in races sanctioned by the National Association for Stock Car Auto Racing. And with it, Hudson also won the AAA crown for the past three years. The Hornet Championship 6, over a period of three years, has posted more than 150 victories over all other American cars on the stock car tracks of the nation. The fairest, the toughest, and the most competitive proving ground of them all. This engine, equipped with twin H power, develops 170 horsepower at 4,000 RPM and has a maximum torque of 278 pounds-feet at 2,600 RPM. The Hornet Championship 6 engine is of the superinduction instant action type, the most advanced development in six-cylinder L-head design on the market today. Certain revisions have been made in the combustion chamber to improve responsiveness through the entire speed range. This means that the fabulous performance of the Hornet Championship 6 will reach new heights in 1955. This sensational engine retains all the stamina, smoothness, and trouble-free operation that have been associated with it for many years. Three transmission options are available with the Hornet 6 engine. Synchro mesh, overdrive, and dual range hydromatic, all specially engineered to give superior performance when used with the Hornet 6. Now, let's look at the Wasp Hollywood hardtop, companion car to the Hornet in the 1955 Hudson line but priced for people who want high styling at a lower price. The Wasp is only a few inches shorter in wheelbase and overall length than the Hornet, but its interior dimensions are identical, so that the Wasp owner can have just as much roominess and comfort for less money. Appearance-wise, the Wasp hardtop, and also the Wasp four-door sedan, resemble the Hornet so closely that it is difficult to tell them apart. For example, the bumper grille design, the treatment of headlights and parking lights, the Hudson crest, and the hood ornamentation are the same as on the Hornet. And it takes more than a second glance to tell the Wasp and Hornet apart when viewing the Wasp from the side. The Wasp has the same sweeping lines from front to rear, the same refined use of chrome ornamentation, the same big distortion-free wraparound windshield that gives the widest arc of forward vision of any car on the road. Viewed from the rear, the Wasp's kinship with the Hornet is unmistakable. The deck lines, the continental tire mounting, the bumper treatment, and the size and positioning of the taillights are the same. 
Interior spaciousness in terms of headroom, hip room, shoulder room, and leg room are the same in the Wasp as in its more expensive running mate. Custom models of the Wasp have the same fine fabrics and delightful color options that are obtainable in the Hornet. So where, you may ask, is the chief point of difference between these two Hudsons? The engine is the difference because the Wasp is powered for the utmost economy of operation, a quality that is always desirable. With optional aluminum head and twin H power, this Wasp high torque engine develops 126 horsepower at 4,000 RPM. But Wasp performance will be a pleasant surprise to the many people who are quite willing to trade hot rod getaway and high speed for the solid advantage of outstanding economy of operation. The Wasp is a surprisingly agile car in traffic and a smooth, fast performer on the open road. It is designed for people who want a big car with highly satisfactory performance and outstanding economy at a lower price than the Hornet. With the exception of the Hudson Metropolitan and Rambler, 1955 will offer no other car that can compete with the Wasp on a basis of operating economy. And remember, the Wasp is a big car in appearance and in the roominess of its interior. It gives the impression of costing far more than its actual price tag. Synchro mesh transmission is standard equipment on the Wasp, and optional choices include overdrive and dual range hydromatic, all tailor made for use with the Wasp engine. Both the Hornet and the Wasp are equipped with an entirely new spring suspension which imparts a quality of riding comfort that can be appreciated only by trying it. Hudson's exceptional riding comfort results from extra long coil springs mounted high at both front and rear. They cradle the body between them like a hammock so that the center of gravity is below the springs to give the greatest possible stability. This is further enhanced by the splayed sea leg mounting of the springs which brings a new anti-sway safety, a new kind of steadiness and ease of handling, even on sharp curves. Notice how these extra long Hudson coil springs are mounted in front, almost directly over the pivot point of the wheel spindle. They are not placed inboard like conventional old-fashioned coil springs. With this older method of spring mounting, the lower supporting arm acts as a lever against the spring whenever the wheel hits a bump. Naturally, the spring must be made stiffer to resist this lever action. Otherwise, it would compress and bottom too easily. This is not true with Hudson's deep coil springs because there is no lever action. Road shocks are cushioned directly by the springs so they can be made softer and more shock absorbing. Actually, Hudson's deep coil springs have a deflection rating of approximately 115 pounds per inch whereas the shorter, stiffer springs used in conventional suspensions often have a deflection rating of over 300 pounds per inch. Hudson's new deep coil ride is an important development in greater riding comfort. It deserves careful explanation and demonstration because only cars built by American Motors have it. Another great Hudson comfort feature is airliner reclining front seats, an American Motors exclusive. This, in combination with twin travel beds, is standard equipment on custom models and is available at extra cost on all other models. Both halves of the front seat back may be adjusted to suit the individual choice of a most restful riding position. When the seat backs are lowered to horizontal position, the car then provides twin beds for a nighttime stopover. No need to hunt for a place to stay and no need to pay lodging bills. But that's not all. A single travel bed can be made up so that a sleepy youngster or adult can enjoy a nap while the car speeds over the road towards its destination. Also available at extra cost is Hudson's new all-season air conditioner that heats, cools, and filters the air in the car so that passengers ride in complete comfort regardless of the outside temperature. Hudson's perfected air conditioning system is the most compact and lowest priced system on the market. No separate heater is required, and all operating equipment is under the hood and cowl, 
it does not take up any space in the trunk as many other systems do. Fresh air is drawn in through the cowl ventilator, filtered and heated or cooled as necessary, and then circulated by double ducts on the cowl from the front to the rear of the car. One simple temperature control puts the driver in command of any inside climate he wants, from gloriously cool on the hottest days to warmest toast in a blizzard. Among other items of optional equipment available at extra cost on the Hornet and Wasp are power brakes, power steering, and power windows. All models equipped with manually operated brakes have Hudson's exclusive triple safe feature, which provides a mechanical reserve system which automatically takes over should the hydraulic system fail. Pushing further down on the brake pedal causes the mechanical system to automatically take over. Hudson's direct acting power steering is of the type that adds its muscle only when needed, so that the driver retains the natural feel of the road to which he has long been accustomed. The fine convenience of power windows is obvious because the driver is able to open or close any window by means of four master switches placed on the left front door panel. And individual switches enable front or rear seat passengers to adjust nearby windows to suit their personal comfort. Great things are in store for Hudson in 1955 because this year, Hudson has great cars that are new from stem to stern to offer the American motorist. Yes, for 1955, the great new Hornet and Wasp provide Hudson salesmen with a rich opportunity because there's so much that's fresh and exciting to tell about them. The fabulous Hudson Hornet with its mighty 208 horsepower V8 or the 170 horsepower Championship 6 has qualities of performance that overshadow all past achievements of this sensational car. And the new Wasp with its high torque 6 will give amazing performance coupled with operating economy unmatched by any car in its field. There's a convincing story to tell about Hudson's double strength, single unit body, a story that should take for its central theme the greater safety and protection that this type of body gives to passengers. And when it comes to riding qualities, people will want to know about Hudson's new deep coil spring suspension. Explain why it's so much better than other old-fashioned designs. Then, let a test ride prove the point. Make people see what deep coil springing really means, not only in riding comfort, but in greater stability and maneuverability. Be sure they understand that it contributes as much to safety as it does to comfort. Tell the story of Hudson's living room spaciousness. Make it realistic. Get people into the car. Let them discover the extra inches that make Hudson the leader in roominess. Demonstrate the advantages of airliner reclining seats and twin travel beds. And be sure they know that these features are exclusive with American Motors cars. Nobody else provides them. Let them sample Hudson's greater visibility in all directions through the biggest wraparound windshield in the industry and through bigger side and rear glass areas that give a picture window outlook. Explain the comfort advantages of Hudson's new low-cost all-season air conditioning system that puts the owner in command of just the climate he wants inside the car, regardless of what the outside temperature may be. And be sure to make it plain that Hudson makes available every item of modern automotive equipment, including direct-acting power steering, power brakes, and power windows. Changes and innovations in the line are so sweeping and completely different that public interest in Hudson is certain to be eager and nationwide. Everyone will want to find out how the Hudson Hornet performs with a 208 horsepower V8 engine under the hood. They'll want to know how much it will improve a car that has already shown its heels to all others in stock car competition. Many will be happy to know that the incomparable Hornet Championship six-cylinder engine is still available with all its surging power, instant action, and a national reputation for long life and consistent trouble-free operation. Others will be attracted by the outstanding economy of operation offered by the Hudson Wasp in its particular field. As for beauty and modern styling, the Hornet and the Wasp 
are certain to win the praise of people of good taste who want true distinction in the cars they buy. The deep-rooted optimism that pervades Hudson's official family is based on the conviction that people will be quick to buy these new Hudson cars because for 1955, Hudson presents the most beautiful performers of them all. <laughs> 